You meditate on the arcane colossus. At first, nothing happens. But all of a sudden, the arcane colossus appears to be fully charged and now radiates great currents of magic. Wizard, you unlocked some of the magic that was trapped deep within this fortress. It has weakened Morgant's penumbra barrier. The Council of Light will be able to help you at times. For now, continue with your exploration of Chrysalis. The Arcane Colossus responded to your presence? Hmm. This is most peculiar. Did you see there is another Colossus? Perhaps the second one will give me the clarity I seek. Meditate in front of the Rubicon Colossus and note any occurrences. You meditate on this giant statue, as you did the Arcane Colossus, but nothing happens. You try to clear your mind again, just in case. But no, the Rubicon Colossus remains inert. The Rubicon Colossus did nothing? Are you positive? Very well, Spellbinder. I have another task that may better suit your talents. My warrior sister, Rose the Mouse Hunter, recently captured a spy. This mouse is an agent of the Burrowers, those that oppose us. The Burrowers are a weak and scattered force, but they have enough weapons and warriors to pose an occasional nuisance. This spy holds critical information about their defenses. If he breaks, the Umbra Legion could wipe them out to the last. Go to Rose the Mouse Hunter and determine what she has gleaned from questioning the spy. She holds him atop the Broken Tower. Use your talents to resolve the situation to my satisfaction. Sultana's creatures? Why has she sent you here? Can you not see with your simple human eyes that I have the spy imprisoned before you? I can tell you his name is Divim Whitehawk. That is all you will get from me, Greenblood. I will never give up my people to you. Silence! That is all I have learned so far. What is your expertise? A spellbinder? <laughs> What use are your spells here? You use them to attack me?
rescuing me. Sk. Once I tell Zatanna what you have done, she'll bring the Umbra Legion down upon- Spellbinder, free me and we can lock the Mantis up in my place. Oh. Meet me at the base of the Broken Tower. You have my eternal thanks, Spellbinder. If we can get out of this place, the White Hearts will always be your allies. Tell me now, what brought you to this lost world? You seek to bring down the Shadow Queen? I will do whatever I can to aid you. My weapons and armor were stripped from me upon my capture. I have no idea what that cruel Mantis Rose did with them. But I know some of our treasures remain safeguarded in the mausoleum. Can you enter the tombs and find me a blade and armor? I wouldn't bother talking to a warm blood like you, but you may be able to help me. I sent that good-for-nothing servant, Romo Night Eyes, to fetch a new scythe days ago. This one's too dull to cut parchment. I can't leave my post, otherwise I'd get it myself. Track down the little rodent and tell him to bring me my scythe at once. Spellbinder. I've heard reports of another unusual creature lurking about Bastion. Search on the walkway that overlooks the Arcane Colossus. Can you investigate whether he is a friend or foe? Greetings, young wizard! Sorry, I've always wanted to say that. Because you opened the way into Chrysalis, I was able to follow in your footsteps. I was sent by Headmaster Ambrose to find- Who am I? I'm Alan Ghost Dust, a special agent of the Council of Light. The Council wants you to have this potion to help in your quest to defeat the Shadow Queen. Stay strong, young wizard. We are all behind you. May your light burn bright. Yes? You don't smell like a mantis. How may I be of service to you? Oh, yes, yes. I delivered it to her days ago. I remember it distinctly. Yes, yes, she even thanked me for doing the dirty work, which seemed odd because the scythe felt perfectly clean to me. She must have forgotten. Yes, 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 you go tell Zarina that Romo Night Eyes may be blind, but he never forgets to do his job. Spirit of Calvert Hawk Lord, you do not wear the colors of the accursed Umbra Legion. You are on a quest for a white heart. I remember them as good, honorable people. You'll find good arms deeper in the tombs. Use my name so you can claim them. However, you'll have to navigate monsters and accursed spirits to reach it. There's nothing I can do to help you there. Greetings, stranger. Would you be willing to help bring peace to two rest? The day before I fell in battle, I had a spat with my true love, Elspeth. Not even my death could quell her anger with me. I can't bear the thought of her spirit carrying a grudge for eternity. I believe a gift would soothe her fury. In life, Elspeth loved asphodel flowers. Unfortunately, the broodmother loves them too. Her blue razors guard the meadow where they grow. Do you think you could pluck asphodel flowers away from the blue razors and take them to Elspeth's final resting place? 